Hey everybody, and welcome back to another Let's Play of The Journey Down. This is chapter 3. Let's get into this uh, episode. How's it going, guys? Hey, Borna. Welcome back, friend. Catch you later, guys. Take care, Borna. Right, so what do I need to do again? Oh yeah, I need to go down here. Oh wow, Sankara Town is just the way I remember it. And it still smells delicious. Food stuff. Hi mister. My mommy makes the best juice in Sankara Town. You wanna try it out? Look friendly, you can have a glass of wheat if you want. Sweetie, I told you. Oh wow, really? Yeah. I think everyone who's friendly should have free juice. Mm. Ah. Did you like it? Mmm, this is delicious. Yeah, mommy makes the best juice, doesn't she? She's an amazing woman. <laughs> You're it. Thank you. You want more? Listen, sweetie, we can't just give away free juice to everyone who's nice to us. Why not? Because of the eviction, sweetie. We're about to get thrown out on the street. We need the money, sweetie. I don't care about money. I care about friendliness. You're friendly, aren't you, mister? Yeah. Sweetie. My mommy doesn't have a boyfriend. I think she likes you. Sweetie, please. <gasps> Hello, ladies. Hey, mister. You want some more juice? <laughs> no, thanks. I'm good for now. Bam. Nice road, man. Sir, back away from the perimeter. You back away, man. I'm not afraid of you, man. Come here, man. I'll kill you a piece of ice. <laughs> this is Gamma Squadron requesting permission to open fire. Yeah, yeah, that's right, man. You call her mama. You call her mama, you big chicken. Sir, there's a small, dog-like man disturbing the barricades. Hey, who you call a dog like, Mr. Poodleface? No, no, he's not causing any damage. Oh, you want to see damage, man? You asked for it. Uh, yes, sir. Understood. Black belt, man. Back off or I'm going to bring the pain, man. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> the ballad. What a ride. As you can see, there is a lot of commotion here in St. Clara Town right now. Let's get a word from one of the protesters here at the barricades. Excuse me, sir? Yeah. What exactly are you demanding from the government? Uh, am I on TV? Uh, am I on TV? Yes, this is ANA, live at 11. Oh, cool. Oh, can I say hi to my friend? No, I... Hey, what's he? Tito, everyone, I'm on TV! Cut. <sighs> Great choice, Gabby. You had to pick a complete dimwit to interview, didn't you? Hey, it ain't my fault this assignment is complete bogus. It's not like we're reporting anything that even resembles the truth anyways. Let's take a five-minute break and then do the last segment. <sighs> All right. On TV again. Fun to be on camera, isn't it? Sorry, man. The segment's over. We're on our break now. My name's Gabby. Who are you? I'm Buana. Cool. So what's up, Buana? <coughs> you know Professor Moorhead? You know Professor Moorhead? Moorhead? The underlying expert? Uh, 
You need a conspiracy nut, right? Yeah, that's him! Can you help me find him? <laughs> no dice. The professor disappeared like two weeks back. We did a segment on that. No big news. Why'd you ask? I have to bring him this! Hey, that's microfilm. Just like our camera. What's on it? It's got top secret data about the power company's plan to destroy St. Armando. Oh yeah, secret project to destroy St. Armando. Ooh, yeah, sure, right. Yeah, I wasn't talking to you, meat stick. Gabby, you can't be taking this fume head seriously. You kidding? This could be the scoop I've been waiting for, man. Let's ditch this farce of an assignment and go make some real news. Listen, Gabby, you're not making real news because you're not a real journalist. What the hell are you talking about, man? Your job is to look pretty in front of the camera and say what the network wants you to say. Stick to what you know, okay? Hell no, that ain't okay. That bullshit is over, man. This could be my breakthrough. I'm out of here. No, you aren't, Gabby. We're partners. And we're in this crap together, all right? You bail on me, and I'll have them revoke your license so hard, you'll never stand in front of the camera again. After we wrap this last bit of shooting, you can go interview a unicorn so far as I care, but as long as I'm still on this assignment, so are you. <sighs> Sorry about Mr. Lapdog here. Looks like I'm stuck as long as he's still on the job. Aw, oh, man. Let's go, Gabby. Sorry, Juana. As long as we're on the assignment, I can't budge. We've got some more recording to do before we can leave. Hey, can you guys keep it down? You're gonna blow the mic. Hey, Gabby! I told you to sh mess with the audio feed. <laughs> I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. What the hell was that? <laughs> Beats me, man. Must have been one of those noisy protesters. <laughs> oh hell. That loud noise blew my microphone. Ugh. Looks like we're gonna have to call this a wrap after all. <laughs> right on, Bona. Now, let's go check out that microfilm. Right this way! Hey, Wasi! I brought a friend! Hey, it's that reporter from the news! Free! Whoa, easy now, cowboy. I'm just doing my job here. Your job? <laughs> you mean spreading government propaganda? Y'all tell the lies to keep us all down. And now you're gonna spread lies about the resistance rockets? Resistance rockers? Listen, Colonel Crackpot, I couldn't care less about you and your lame ass garage band. I'm here for a bigger story. Ooh, now you better watch your mouth, girl. Yeah, this ain't no little garage band. It's a rock and roll revolution, man. Our music's gonna change the world. Change the world with rock and roll, huh? That's hilarious. Mm, I'm glad we brought the camera. You guys would fit right in on comedy hour. Hey, Sarge, let me put a couple of bullets in. See how funny she thinks that is. But don't waste your ammo. She ain't worth it. Well, what kind of nut jobs are you hanging out with, man? Just read the video so I can get out of here. It's the microfilm Lena and Gutta. Some serious business right there. See? We got to work together. Or they're gonna burn this city to the ground. This is this is exactly what Professor Moorhead was talking about. I thought he was a complete lunatic. The network made me cut his theories from the story. It all sounded crazy. I had no idea. I told you, fool, you're a tool of government. Ain't got no backbone to stand up for the truth. Alright, that's it. I'm out of here. Stretcher out of here. Gotta be quick. Yeah, go on back to your network execs. 
and tell them we don't want no part of their lives. The revolution will not be televised, sisters. Man, what a bonehead. Where'd you find that guy? Huh, I know you can be kind of maxed out sometimes. Yeah, to say the least. Worst thing is, he's right. Huh? The network is censoring all of our news stories. 